What's up guys, Massacle Films here, welcome back to another reaction. Today I'll be reacting to the Star Wars Outlaws official gameplay walkthrough. This got released around a day after we got the official trailer for this game. I wasn't expecting gameplay for the next couple of months, but we just got gameplay right now. This is the gameplay walkthrough, so will they be showing gameplay? Pretty sure, but... We will see, this is a 10 minute video, so I'll just share my thoughts at the end, but I won't break it down. Something interesting that they did here was they put Star Wars Battlefront, which is pretty interesting, but we'll see if this game is similar to Battlefront or if they just put it there for no reason. So with that said, let's just watch this gameplay walkthrough. So this is gonna be rated 16 and up, so I'm assuming that's just gonna be teen or whatever. Work in progress does not represent final quality. All right. Is that the pet? Yeah, it's the pet. I mean, the quality is already good, so I guess that's good. But I guess it might be even better. I'm pretty sure this is going to be a next gen only game. There's the main character, the character that I'm assuming you're going to be playing as. All right, next. Let's go get paid. Dang, this is actually the gameplay. That worked. Wow. All right. This is like some kind of sneak mission. I wonder what happens if you like get caught. Do you just have to fight your way out? Wait, the pet can actually attack people? Hit that button. And it can do that. That's actually sick. I wonder if you're, you're able to like customize your pet and you know, anything else. You probably will be. Hang on tight, little buddy. It might be similar to what they did with Jedi Fallen Order and BD1. And I guess Jedi Survivor now too. The yellow TIE fighters? Okay, okay, we'll, figure this out. well, we just got caught, or they just got caught. That's not good. Wow. You're just gonna be able to do that? I'm assuming the thing in the middle, on the bottom, is the health bar. And then you just have two triggers, LB and RB. I'm not sure what that is. I play on a PlayStation, not an Xbox, but I think that's L1 and R1. I think it should be L2 and R2. I don't know, whatever it is. Those are like, you're, get, you're gonna get to use the pet and you're gonna get to Use the blaster. What planet is this? This is a new planet, probably. Well, right? and there's your speeder. All right, so you got. So they made it their way out of there, and that's the ship. So you're going to the ship now. This planet is actually kind of sick. Is this like the main location? Hopefully, they get back to the ship, and you're able to see like the whole planet selection and stuff. Why are they not heading back to the ship? I think I just saw the ship over there. Maybe you don't have the ship yet. Slow motion angle. Dang, does your speeder just not have blasters? Is that what it is? Is the ND5 this is like commando droid? Oh, there's the ship. Is that like your assistant? I'm pretty sure this is going to be your assistant. Will you be able to play as him? Maybe. That would be pretty cool. Pike Syndicate Reputation? 
So are you just stealing from the pikes right now? What is this planet? This planet's actually kind of sick. Me, ND5, and Jaunta's Hope? What is Jaunta's Hope? You've made it to the city. Command of Dread is actually cool. What? Be careful. Donka's a broker, not a friend. She can't be trusted. Who can out here? See you back at the ship. Interesting. All right. So there's like probably some kind of mission. Round two, and I still like my odds. Vess. Back already. I told you she's fresh, but she's good. Who's this? Just a friend. Join That's us. from the Empire. This looks like an Imperial person. Job was more complicated than you said, Dunka. You lived. I guess this is like the person that gives you missions, or maybe just one mission. Yeah, that's an imperial officer, it looks like. Wait. We haven't met. Don't really know many of you. Stealing illegal contraband, running with syndicates. I could say you're a threat to the Empire. <laughs> but I won't have to if you're smart. Bribe, do not bribe. Oh, so you get like choices Thanks. and stuff. I'm smart enough to get myself out of trouble. You pay the tax just like everyone. Else. Whoa, kid, let's just relax. You won't make it off to Shara alive. Oh, so you get to choose. Maybe. Now you're gonna be on the run from the Empire. I wonder what happens if you choose Bribe. And you just earn 250 or 2500 credits, which is nice. Well, now you just gotta run. You've made it to five star wanted level. There's an Imperial shuttle. I mean, yeah, I probably would have chosen bribe though. I don't know why. I think it would be cool working for the empire. Maybe, not sure. Not sure what would happen if you chose bribe. There's the ship. I wonder if you're going to be able to customize that. Or will it be similar to like the Mantis and Jedi Fallen Order? Where you're just like, going to be able to change the color and that's it. Alright, do we see hyperspace travel in the gameplay walkthrough? That is the question. Will we get to see all the planets? Are we good? Orbit. Shawl system. I guess that's the planet. Anybody and you're gonna get to fight TIE Fighters? TIE fighters on us. That's cool. I feel inclined to remind you that we should shake the Empire quickly. Thanks, I'm working on it. Alright, so you fight the Empire. How do you get to hyperspace? And how do you like choose which planet you go to and how many planets are there? Those are the questions that I have. I think my prediction for this gameplay walkthrough is that it's actually going to just end. Oh, you can just do that. Orbit? The Akiva orbit? Oh, I guess you do get to see hyperspace travel. All right, never mind. That's cool. Is it just gonna be like a short hyperspace thing or will you actually no, just it's a short trip. All right, we've escaped the empire. Quest completed. The broker. 
Dang. And a cutscene, please. <laughs> That's your new toy. So, where do we go next? Anywhere we want. I see what they did there, because this is a open world game, and that's why they did that, to promote that it is an open world game. Alright, what else are we doing? Is that Kashyyyk? I mean, it is some kind of planet. That's definitely tattooing, I gotta say. That's tattooing. What planet is that? That's actually a sick planet. You have to fight the Empire. Star Wars Outlaws coming 2024. That's it. That's it. Is that it? Do they show anything else? No. All right, that was actually really, really cool. You just got 10 minutes. You just did a mission. And so, is that what? You're going to be doing throughout this whole entire game, just doing missions for people, gaining credits, and with those credits, you're going to be able to buy new ships, new accessories, maybe a new speeder and things like that. And that's actually going to be really cool. One thing I wonder is if you're going to be able to like buy a house somewhere or something like buy a house and like on this planet and you're, that's going to be like your home base. I wonder if you're going to be able to own a couple mm -hmm. ships or will you just have one ship? There are so many possibilities with this game. They did just show you one mission, so you didn't really see much, but you got to see like five planets, I'm pretty sure. I saw you were on a Star Destroyer at one point, or maybe that was an Imperial base. And then I counted, I believe, like four or five planets. So again, I wonder what the total number of planets is. It doesn't show in the description, I don't think. Yeah, it doesn't show how many planets there are, but still really excited for this game. Again, won't break down this because it's 10 minutes long. So overall, I enjoyed this. Again, 2024, I am really excited for Star Wars Outlaws. But let me know what you guys thought of this official gameplay walkthrough down in the comments section below. Are you surprised that they even did this? I think that this is pretty early. I think maybe they're almost done with development of the game. Maybe they still need to just make a couple of changes. But I mean, that looked pretty complete. I'm not going to lie. The graphics looked good. But maybe they just completed this one mission and they still have the full game to go over. Which would be pretty cool as well. But overall, Star Wars Outlaws, really happy we got this. Though I'm also really surprised that we did get this this early. Just the day after we got the first trailer. So... With that said, that is it for this video. Let me know what you thought of the Star Wars Outlaws official gameplay trailer down in the comment section below. Also, while you're down there, drop a like if you enjoyed and subscribe to the channel for more reactions just like this one. And obviously more videos about Star Wars Outlaws, especially when the game comes out. Again, this is probably my most hyped up Star Wars game out of most of the Star Wars games that we have rumored or announced. So really excited for this open world Star Wars game. But yeah. Thank you guys for watching this video. I will see you all in the next one. Bye.